Hey, friend, Chris here from WhiteLogicProRules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro. Today, I want to talk about the pan knob, specifically stereo pan knobs. I see a lot of Logic Pro projects and I keep seeing a mistake being made. And the mistake is, is the assumption that a stereo track and channel strip by default has a stereo pan knob. And that is not the case. It is starts its life as what we call a balance knob. Sounds like what's the difference, but there is a difference. So I want to show you right now the difference and then how to correct this behavior. Let me start out by saying that there's nothing inherently wrong with a stereo track and channel strip having a balance knob as opposed to a stereo pan knob. It's the assumption of how it works, the not knowing that's the problem. So on screen, I have a heavy rock riff and I've selected the heavy kit here, specifically for the fact that it's a stereo track. Let me start out by soloing the drummer region. And let's listen and play with the balance knob as it is right now, just to hear what's going on with this knob. Here we go. Okay, it, it doesn't really sound that much different, right? We move it to the left, we move it to the right. It really doesn't sound that much different in either direction, so what's the big deal? Well, just to confirm, if I right-click on the pan knob here or hold control and click, I get this pop-up menu and the pan knob currently for this channel strip is set to balance and it's not set to stereo pan. But again, it doesn't sound like anything too weird is going on. Well, let me show you with two other tracks instead. First, I have two rhythm guitar tracks, a guitar lead track, drums, obviously, and a bass guitar track. Looking in the mixer, I have sent the output for every one of these tracks and the channel strip for the two rhythm guitars to an aux channel. Not really that important, but basically all the tracks are being summed to this channel strip before the master output. Take a quick listen to this riff, and then we'll hone in on two of these guitars. Here we go. Okay, pretty basic, but now we got a hang of what this riff is. From here, we're gonna solo the left rhythm guitar as well as the lead guitar. And I'll pan the lead all the way to the right. So now we have a hard pan rhythm guitar, a hard pan lead guitar. Let's hear what these two guitars sound like side by side. All right, so we know where each guitar is in the stereo field. Rhythm on the left, lead on the right. Now take a look. We have a pan knob for the submix channel strip. The point is, is that both guitars are going to the submix and I'm able to pan in either direction. And just to confirm, if I right click on this pan knob, once again, I have a balance knob and not a stereo pan knob. So remember with panning, we would assume we would move both guitars all the way to the right or all the way to the left. Let's try it out right now and take a listen to what actually happens here. Pretty weird, right? I didn't pan both guitars to either direction. All I did was choose how much of the left and the right hand side I wanted to hear. Panning all the way to the right, you can only hear the lead guitar because that's the only thing on the right hand side. Then when I pan to the left, all we hear is the rhythm guitar track. This is the point when it comes to the balance knob. When you move that knob to the left or to the right, all you're saying is, hey Logic, I wanna hear more of the left side and less of the right or vice versa. I wanna hear more of the right and less of the left. We're not panning, we're just balancing between two signals, the left and the right. But when you right click or hold control and click on the pan knob and set it from balance to stereo, now you have a completely different experience of panning with your stereo tracks. 
Let's give it a try once again. This time, I'm actually panning both guitars to the left and to the right. I'm not just electing to hear one side more than the other. No, now I'm actually panning both guitars. And what's super cool about the stereo pan knob is that you can actually adjust the width of everything from left to right. So if you want to narrow it as far as mono or anywhere in between, you can. Just by clicking, holding, and then dragging up or down, all you have to do is just get the little green section highlighted. So it may take a little effort. You don't go right in the knob here. You go until you see the handles of the ring light up and then click, hold, and drag up and down to fully expand or narrow. If you hold option and click, you reset any Control and Logic Pro, including the pan knob, and also, if you hold command and click on a stereo pan knob, you can swap the left and right hand sides. So let's give it a try. This is incredibly handy. So much versatility for your stereo track. So this is what I wanted to bring to your attention is that this right here is called a balance knob when you have a stereo track and channel strip. To switch the behavior from balance to actually stereo panning, you have to right click or hold control and click on that knob to switch the behavior. But what gives with the drums? How come it doesn't sound that much different? Well, it actually does sound different. You hear a little less of the hi-hat on one side, more of the hi-hat on the other. But to really illustrate this, let me pop open the library and choose the producer version of this heavy kit. I'll close the library, open the mixer, and let's take a listen to just this region once again. And let's play with the balance knob. Okay, it's a little more subtle, but you can see that the hi-hat is panned a little to the right. Let's pan all the way to the right once again. Take a listen. Okay, but we still hear it. What's the deal? Well, if I mute the room track here and the overheads, Check it out. There just happens to be enough hi-hat ambience in the overhead and room track that, you know, we still could hear it when we balance to left or right. But again, to truly pan this stereo channel strip, I need to convert it to a stereo pan knob. So there you have it. The stereo pan knob is incredibly versatile. Again, I'm not saying that the balance knob is a bad thing. It totally is a usable thing if you have an off balance track and you do want to hear more of the left, less of the right, vice versa. But when you anticipate and expect to pan your track to one side or to the other, you need to convert this knob from balance to stereo pan. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, as always, please subscribe to the channel and website, Wide Logic Per Rules. In the description below, I always have links to templates, PDFs, guides to help you in your journey with Logic Pro. Thanks so much, and I'll see you for more next week. Take care.